Okay, I just want to kind of give you a before, before I show you the after. Um, so yeah, I know it looks like a mess because I have a lot of stuff that I haven't yet put away, but I'm not going to be putting it away because I'm going to be moving into the room on the other side of that wall. So anyway, and there's a lot of stuff here that I like purchase, like, like here is Sky, and I have like, um, some body creams and stuff from Soul. Uh, De Janeiro, is that my saying it right? I'm probably really screwing that up. Excuse me if I am. But anyway, I haven't put any of it away, but this is kind of like where I moved all my makeup stuff. Um, I have my makeup mirror, and then I put this here in case I was going to do any makeup tutorials or hair tutorials, which I never ended up getting around to doing any of those. So anyway, that's that. Um, so I have all this crap I need to put away. But anyway, um, I just got this lamp from my grandpa. So I'm going to be putting that in my new space because there's no, there's no like, um, ceiling lights in this apartment. So anyway, um, I need to do the swatches for these still. Once I have them out, but this is where I film. Um, I have my light and then another light. This holds my phone and then, um, like I said, I'm moving. I'm going to be moving to the other room, so I'm kind of packing up some stuff just to kind of easily carry that way. And then I use this to look at pictures while I'm doing my nail art. So I'll have that on my desk. Um, I did have two, like, stools here. I put them mainly here for um, stability to keep my desk from wobbling because, I don't know, it just has a wobble to it. That was really when I was using my, like, gooseneck um, tripod. But anyway, I did have two there and I kept, like, um, all this stuff there. But, um, yeah, I have all this stuff here. Um, these are great. I, I wanted to do an Amazon video of, like, Amazon nail finds. Um, so far this would be the only thing on my list, so I haven't done the video, so if I don't ever do it, these are great. They're huge, and unlike those, like, dental, um, bibs or towels, whatever you call them, these are actually, like, super absorbent and, like, um, yeah, they're just, like, soft and not, like, that, um, other material. You know what I'm talking about. Like, the sushi. <laughs> anyway, I keep all my um, secret nail affair in here, everything I've gotten so far, minus the collection here on my desk and the monomer over there. But anyway, that's, that is my space I've been using, um, and I can't wait to have my own actual room, you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of projects. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait. So yeah, this is, this is before. <laughs>
I did decide to do a voiceover because the video itself was too long added together with the rest of the video so in this first thing that I pull out is basically for um, the underside of my door I was hoping that it would kind of help with the monomer smell escaping into the rest of the and to the rest of my place I haven't yet tried it it's under my door but I haven't actually used it as far as um, using monomer, so we'll see. These next things that I'm pulling out are going to be what I store nail files, um, buffers, and things like that for each individual person that I um, you know do their nails I want to keep it clean and I don't have want to have to be uh, going through a bunch of files I want to reuse the same files so to make sure I keep everything clean um, I bought all these different cases and one of them I bought six one of them was broken so I threw it away I did get this motion sensor light. I was thinking I was going to put it in my drawer. I ended up putting it in my bathroom, which worked a little bit better and it was just more practical. I didn't really need it for my nail drawer because there's so much light in there any or in the room. I could see into the drawer just fine. And I also got this night light. I have one, uh, a mushroom night light, but it's not as extravagant as this one. Um, but it is really pretty when it lights up and I, I'm glad I got it. So this mouse pad is absolutely adorable, you guys. I love it. I am so, out of everything that I got, I think this is um, my favorite thing that I got out of this Sheen haul. It's just so freaking cute and it looks great.
I did keep adjusting my camera and my light sort of because I thought that it looked kind of dark but it was only looking like that because it was shining the light on my phone which made it look darker. I did get this nail brush holder for when I'm working on nails to kind of sit it on there and not just lay it on my desk which I was doing previously. And I also got this cute little container to hold my uh, nail wipes, which it works so good and that keeps the dust out, which is exactly what I wanted it for. The next thing is this trash can. It's It actually didn't come broken, which is very surprising. It was a little warped, but that's okay. Um, I can deal with that as long as it wasn't cracked or anything. Um, and yeah, it's just a clear acrylic or plasticky trash can. I did get this bottle because I broke my previous one that I got in one of my first Sheen hauls, I believe. Um, and I also got this to organize my drawers. Wasn't sure what I was going to use it for, but I knew I was going to organize something in my drawers and ended up using, uh, putting my glitter pots in there. These cases are absolutely amazing. They're only six bucks a case and they're just, they look nice. You know what I mean? When all your charms are in there and you're trying to look for what charm you want, it's really easy to see exactly what you want. So I did get five bags of nail uh, swatch sticks because I was tired of running out and um, I didn't think that I'd be doing another sheen order for quite some time so I wanted to make sure I picked up a lot that way um, you know I wouldn't have to do another order so quickly. I did get this to display some of my lovely acrylic brushes. It's just a simple stand but it when put together and the brushes are on it, it does look very sleek and I like it a lot. I also picked up these nail art brushes. These are to make flower sort of nail art. They're all different shapes and sizes and things like that, but I absolutely loved the handles on them. So I definitely wanted something that looked like that. So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. And then these liner brushes are absolutely gorgeous. I haven't used them yet, so I don't know as far as quality how they work, but the handles alone are gorgeous. <laughs> I also picked up some more nail wipes. And just a bag of luminescent glitter. I had plans for this. Um, so yeah, I just picked one of those up. And I got this for my faucet, you guys, and I actually really, really love it. It's something, <laughs> it's just something kind of unexpected, and I don't know, it, it does it does work as far as it changes colors and stuff like that. The water, it goes through it really quickly. I don't necessarily like the, the water splashing everywhere because if you you know turn it up to a normal amount of water it just sprays everywhere so you kind of have to keep it lower but I love it because it lights up so I did get this for my stickers it's just a nail uh, just a, like a it's supposed to be like a picture book but I'm, I'm using it for my stickers this is what I was previously using which worked to keep them all together but as far as like sifting through and seeing what you want to use you have to pull them out every time and then it's just a hassle. So having this book will be um, a game changer. <laughs> hey you friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to be taking you guys on a tour of my nail room slash gaming room slash makeup room all in one here. So let's go, let's get into it. So walking into my room, the first thing that you'll see is my gel polish area. This is just where I store them all. Eventually I'm going to get a better way to store them. Um, 
either putting them on stands or whatnot. But for now, this is where I keep my gel polishes. And then over here is my makeup area, you guys. This actually used to be my old nail desk, but as you can see underneath, if someone were to put their legs um, on, you know, if someone were to be on the other side, if I was doing their nails, their legs would get in the way, or that piece of wood would get in the way of their legs, rather. So yeah, um, this is back to being my makeup desk. So over to the side, I just keep my hair tools, hair dye, hair wraps, when I'm getting out of the shower, I just keep some tools for um, when I'm dyeing my hair. Anything that has to do with hair, I keep in here. And I also keep everything tidy and neat um, with these magnetic bands that I got from Amazon, which are really useful and I use them for a lot of things. So yeah, my makeup desk, I just keep all of my smell goods right here in this basket. Um, and I just kind of stuck this mirror in here because I didn't know where else to put put it. And then in this jar, I just keep my used sponges, and then I just threw this on top, just because I just didn't know where to put it really. Um, and then I keep this beautiful makeup palette on my mirror because it is just too beautiful to keep in a drawer and not display it. I keep some hand sanitizers here. If I'm on the run or going somewhere, I'll just throw um, one of those in my bag. And then here I keep my perfumes. Yes, I only have two. On top, I do keep my unused makeup sponges. And then in here, I just keep all of my body creams, lotions, and things like that. Behind here, which is actually on my computer desk, I just store this stuff here because, well, there was nowhere really to store it on my desk, my makeup desk, so here I just keep some extra um, makeup things and hair things. And in here I do keep hair ties, scrunchies, grooming tools, which I really don't have anything in there because I moved them somewhere else. I keep some hair accessories in here. This is my bonnet that I try to wear but I haven't worn it in a while. but. It should definitely be worn because it makes my hair such a difference. And then I have combs, hair clips, face makeup brushes, and eye makeup brushes. So yeah, that's where I keep all those. And in the drawers, I just keep all of my makeup palettes here. Too Faced is my favorite, so all of my makeup palettes are from Too Faced, except for the one that I store on my mirror. But yeah, all Too Faced, and then in here I do have some Dumb Blonde Cosmetics and some random other makeup. Um, more lashes, because I do keep the majority of my lashes in this drawer. So here's all my lashes. And then just some like face masks, all my um, eyeliners, eyebrow, um, eyebrow stuff and mascara, that sort of thing goes in there. Here I have just a mix sort of stuff that I just didn't know where to put. Um, so I just kind of threw it all in there and then I keep all my lips, the lip stuff in there. So yeah, that's pretty much my makeup area. And then underneath is just my uh, base box for my speaker. And then on top of that, I just keep some makeup uh, eraser towels. So the next area next to my makeup desk is my gaming area, my gaming setup. You guys, I love my gaming area. I actually, this was a black desk as you saw earlier in the video, but I actually put this, um, what do you call it, like film on top to cover it to kind of match all my other desks. And as you've seen, I got this from Sheen. And yeah, I just keep my two computer screens on top. And I have my computer at the bottom here. Don't mind, it's dusty and dirty. <laughs> um, and I keep my headset here as long as my, as well as my beats on top of my computer there. And then behind my computer screen, <laughs> I just keep my cordless vacuum, which is really, really useful for cleaning out my drawers, any sort of 
um, acrylic powder that's spilled or glitters or anything. It's just great to tidy up the drawers. And then I do have a carpet protector under this area because this is where I do spend most of my time when I'm not doing my nails or doing nails. So yeah, that is my gaming area, you guys. And to the right here is my microphone. I can extend it to where I need it to be um, and then also move it out of the way when I'm not using it, which is really awesome. And then I also have a cup holder here, which I keep my drinks in. So moving on over here, my trash can and just some storage bins with um, basically just extras, you guys. These are the towel, um, the towels that I showed you um, at the beginning of the video that are really great. I keep some extra um, nail dust collector filters there, uh, extra lamp and just um, extra paper towels for when I need them. And then over here is just some more storage. These are just empty jars that I eventually want to fill with something. <laughs> Um, and this box is empty. This does have some stuff in it, but it's basically just extra boxes. Um, and I just keep them in there to kind of keep them out of sight. So yeah, that's those two. And then next to there, I do store my some of my acrylic powders that I want on display. I do need to get some more risers like these. I got this idea from Sessie's Nail World. I thought it was so... Um, it was just a good idea, you guys. I thought it looked really nice, and so I wanted to do kind of the same thing. And for the extra ones that I don't have risers for yet, I just threw in these baskets. And then in this box, I do keep all of my poly gels. So, I have Secret Nail Affair and some more Secret Nail Affair and glitter bells on the risers there and below I just store some stuff that I just kind of want to keep out of sight my label maker attachments for my uh, cordless vacuum this was a um, or this is a nail drill carrier to keep it safe and stuff I don't use it anymore this is when I had like less space to work with and I needed to to store it and keep it out of the way so really I don't use that anymore this came from an old, my old gaming chair. I It was old, it needed tossed out, you guys. It was just, it was time, and plus it was big and bulky and it wasn't gonna go with my room, so I didn't want it anymore. But I did keep this pillow, thinking that maybe I could use it as a hand rest uh, when doing someone's nails. I haven't tried it out yet, so we'll see. And here I keep extra cords and um, just extra lamp and stuff. And I just have bags here that I store my stickers that I use to cover my address normally and I do keep a sewing kit in here so that's that one and I like how it's tucked away and you can't see all the stuff and here I just keep dual forms nail tip or um, full cover nail tips that sort of thing goes in there and then here I just keep my waxing stuff so yeah on top is just a lamp that I got from my grandpa and I put this cute little keychain that I got from Conjure Up Nails from our nails nail box swap we did and I have this cute little plant sitting here. It's just a big plant. So now here we are. Here is my nail desk you guys. I absolutely love it so much so let me take you on a little tour. First I'll show you the top what I have on top. I have my Melody Susie nail drill here and I do keep some acrylic brushes on display right there. I have my Eno Couture lamp, my dampen dish and another um, just a brush holder for when I'm doing nails to keep it like from sitting on my desk. Here I have this to, to protect my desk because the material of my desk, if I were to get monomer on it, <clears throat> excuse me, if I were to get monomer on it, it would make a, it would probably damage the desk. So when I'm working with the nails, I want to kind of keep all that on this like station kind of, and this is glass. And then I just 
put these anti-skid pads to protect the glass from like hitting it too hard and um, to keep it in place as well. Now this glass actually came from the side panel of my computer over there and basically um, I needed to take the glass off because when I'm gaming it gets pretty hot in my computer depending on the game so I took it off to allow more airflow into my computer and it was just sitting around doing nothing so I decided to uh, like kind of repurpose it and use it for something else which I absolutely love and then over here I have my barbicide jar hand sanitizer swipe and my nail wipes and then I do have my daylight lamp here which is absolutely amazing you guys I love it so much it covers literally almost the whole length of the desk and it puts out so much light and I do have my Acron mounts here which is so lovely it's easy to work with and easy to clamp my phone in and get it out of there as well so yeah that is the top of my desk you guys so over here on top of my little side station I have um, the push down bottle for alcohol and a spray bottle filled with alcohol I have all my poly gel brushes um, some more acrylic brushes in there as well as well as uh, um, nail art brushes and donning tools and that sort of thing so just kind of store those all there on the mirror to kind of keep it all nice and neat and then I have my paper towels so yeah going back to my desk underneath here this is where I keep my red iguana practice hand still have yet to use it but I can't wait to and then I keep my nail dart dart my nail dust collector right here I think it's really convenient to have it on this shelf because I can just pull it off and put it on top when um, I need it and then put it back under when I don't need it which I think is really convenient and here I have organized different sections for everything. I have my nail files, my buffers, my drill bits, my uh, nail brush dusters, whatever you want to call them. And then I have more acrylic brushes and poly gel brushes, um, nail tips, some nail forms, some wipes, and then underneath there is some extra tools if I need them. And then I have my dampen dishes here along with some tools and I keep all my sanding bits in here just because it's a closed box and it keeps dust out so I thought that was really good to put it in there and it's also really cute and then I just have my clippers in that little uh, that little pot and then some nail glue and some extra some extra nail wipes and then under there I keep a bunch of acrylic powders. I have E-Nail Couture, E-Nail Couture, Secret Nail Affair, Secret Nail Affair, Nail Nails in the back, some uh, glitter bells. These are just two that I have made, um, mixed up myself, and then some Nail Supply Glamour. So that's just a drawer basically of acrylic powder. Under that is where I store all of my barbicide. I have my barbicide, my acetone, alcohol, uh, and then just all my monomers that I do have. It keeps going in and out of focus, it looks like. So then I just store these in here. Just I, I basically threw them in here because I didn't know where else to put them. And then I have my nail sticker book. And underneath I have um, some more nail tips. And then over here, <clears throat> I do store my dehydrators, nail foil glue, cuticle oils, primers, base coats, top coats. It's all in there conveniently. And then here is just nail art, basically glitters, more glitters, 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 and then just a bunch of different stuff, rhinestone glue. Um, just a mix of different stuff and behind there which is really annoying because I can't open the drawer all the way so 
I literally have to take all these out to get to those, but I don't use them as much. I might put them in a different spot just because I don't like the fact of having to take out all three of these to get to that one back there. But back there I just keep all my nail art pots, paint pots, <clears throat> more nail art, just a bunch of nail art you guys, um, glitters, charms, this is where I store them all. Just keep them all stacked nice and neat and this drawer like the like all of them in this uh, cabinet it just you can't reach the back so I'd have to I'd have to move these to get to those but I put the things that I use the least in the back and here I just have a mixture of different things um, nail art brushes um, swatch sticks that I haven't yet um, I haven't yet uh, <laughs> made labels for I can't speak and then I have um, just some extra acrylics that um, was made for me. Contra Nails made those for me. I have nail stands in here. And here I keep sticky tabs to put on my nails. And then uh, clamps for the nails if you're using like dual forms or doing the Femi Beauty method. And then I have these for when I'm taking off my nails. And here I just keep some pre-buffed uh, full cover tips. I like to pre-buff um, because I just think it saves on time and I'm ready to go whenever I need to do a set. And it's real simple. I just sit down, watch YouTube or watch a movie or whatever and I just buff nails. And then the last door here, I keep containers. Here's my personal files. I have my practice hand files and then I have a couple friends. Um, cases for when they get their nails done. I can keep their nail files and buffers all in the same spot so they can be reused and not, you know, contaminate. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's better to keep them like that. So, and then you don't go through so many files. I also keep my sticker collection, extra storage here. I have extra jars and my mounting tabs for my nail stands and all my swatch sticks in there. So yeah. Over here I do hang my swatch sticks because I have an idea for what I want to do for them. But right now I'm just not able to do that. So I just hang them here for now because it works. And in the closet I keep um, a bunch of stuff that I just want to keep out of, the, out, of, out of view basically. It's Christmas stuff. It's just a bunch of stuff that just doesn't need to be seen, so we won't be looking in there. And over here I keep a blanket in case I get cold or if I want to sit on it. I keep that there. And there's just a stool here. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, this is my nail room, gaming room, makeup room. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. Uh, this is my my space that I create in, that I hang out in, and I love being in here. Let me know what you think about it below. I hope that you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, so much for watching. Bye guys. Okay friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, maybe give it a thumbs up, give it a like for me, that'd be great. Um, I enjoyed putting all this stuff together and obviously I enjoy having this room and this space to create in, to game in, and do all the things that I love to do. I hope that you loved it as well and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you all. Bye.